Mike, you have an opinion yeah. on something we need to argue about, I think. I don't know. Okay, so this is a topic that has recently come up in the offseason for baseball because we've come to find out that our beloved Yankees, who have such a strict policy for everything and have such tradition and everything, which we love, which we love, found out that they might not be getting some free agents because they don't want to shave their beards because the Yankees have a no facial hair policy. Okay. And we are now in 2023. I obviously, this is as best I can do with facial hair. It doesn't even grow in all the way, but I don't feel like shaving it. Um, I, we've seen Bernie Williams and guys in the off season grow a little goatee, nothing crazy. It wasn't anything bad, but it's always been, no, you're a Yankee. This is what you do. You want to be here. You're shaving that shit. But I have to admit, part of me is starting to tilt like, yeah, but like, are we going to, like, I'm spitting now because I'm so upset. Are we going to, like, not lose? We The Yankees' way is this. It's winning. That's number one. I, I Listen, I don't want scumbag-looking Yankees that they look like fucking mops walking out here or feather dusters, and they just look sloppy, and they look like, like here, I put together a little a little slideshow. Do we want to do your slideshow? We'll do. Let's do mine because it, yeah, it'll, 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 I'll do yours first because you're clearly way in more in the moment than I am. I'm trying to keep. Yeah. Up. Hey, okay. Hey, so this is Alex Verdugo, right? <laughs> Alex Verdugo hey, just came it. to the Yankees. The best the Yankees could do would find a picture of him with a little chin music. Now I don't think if that I don't that's a mock up, Photoshop that little bit yeah. of a chin thing. I don't think that's really too disgraceful. What he's got going on with the long beard, I could tolerate. But, you know, he's got a red beard. It matches the pine tar. It just looks sloppy. You know, these guys, they just look like slobs. You always see the long bearded guys got sloppy pine tar in their bat and their helmet, you know. So this is what he looks like now. Is this okay. guy going to perform at the level we need him to? He looks like he's 12. He looks like he listens to ICP. <laughs> like, he, like, I feel like I would see this guy at the gathering of the Juggalos. <laughs> he looks like somebody I know, actually, who listens to ICP. Yeah, and I can see it. You know, he looks like the bat boy, you know. So he, he, he looks like the kid, the kid that went he to your looks he, worse lo without he looks like the kid that went to your high school that recorded a rap album. Yes. <laughs> you know? yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like that is yeah. Um yeah. Okay. So here's the Yankees instituted, according to Wikipedia there, the policy was 1976, neatness counts, no beards. Um, that is Oscar Gamble, who was always known in the 70s for having the big fro. He had a mm -hmm. long, in the 70s, even the Yankees, even during this time, they had long facial hair. So here's a look. Here's uh, Thurman Munson before the beard policy. Here's after. I mean, he's still sloppy looking. He just doesn't have a beard. He's got a big mustache. Awful. Awful. Sparky Lyle. Cleanly shaven at first, then he grew. He grew like a curly mustache eventually. I like to let him keep the mustaches because it makes sure that every that the Yankees are just permanently in the seventies forever. Right. You know, yeah, I know these exactly. pictures are from the seventies, a lot of them. But here's Mattingly when he almost got suspended for having the mullet, and of course, mm -hmm. the famous scene in The Simpsons, "Shave Your Sideburns," was based on this whole moment. So you see, he shaved his head. Okay. Um, here he is clean shaven. I mean, is that Donnie Baseball? No. Donnie Baseball has a mustache. He's got a porno oh, stash. That's Donnie Baseball. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, here's Johnny Damon when he came to the Yankees. I forget what websites I stole this from. I, we might get sued. I, I, I feel like this right here is like the uh, sobering up before and after pictures. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's it's kind of... The next morning. Kinda, and like, yeah. I got to go to work. I had a job interview today. I drank yeah, the... the yeah. The, the the right one that when he's on the Yankees looks like he got his year chip, you know, and he's like one day yeah. at a time, <laughs> one day at a time. If I could do it, you can too. Actually, you know what's funny is that Johnny Damon get, did get arrested in Florida for a DUI like ten yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so, he and, but then the, he found Jesus on the Yankees. Our kids, Jesus like the Yankees. kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. also, I, I should have mentioned this five full minutes ago, but like, if you're listening on the audio, um, this is not going to make any sense to you. It's not going to make any uh, sense. Yeah. No, come over, your come over to the YouTube, kids. Come you... over to the YouTube. Yeah. Um, yeah come all right. To the modern yeah. era. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Randy Johnson, RJ? when he came to the Yankees, you know, I, did he do well like... with the Yankees? No. This is See, why. RJ, yeah, I, I honestly, um, that's. I'm glad you brought that up, Mike. Sorry, oh, sorry to interrupt, Phil. No, you like, go first, Brad. I, I think the mustache did help Randy Johnson. And I was thinking, like, when you think of a mustache baseball player with, like, long hair, you automatically think of Randy Johnson. Think of Randy like, Johnson. He's one of the first person yeah. that comes to mind. 
So yeah, yeah I mean <laughs> that that makes sense. They took away his stash. He had all his power in his stash. Yeah. Randy Johnson then, looks here really like the guy who um, smacked his family around, but then he shaved when he went out to buy flowers to apologize. Yeah. The other picture, like <laughs> he he's, on that right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's on probation in the Yankees photo. <laughs> he's yeah, like, exactly. My parole officer. <laughs> Said that I should really look into myself, and I'm a new man. So you know, you got to take yourself yeah. seriously. Yeah. Um, here's Garrett Cole, obviously, but even Garrett Cole, like he's got like a, a thin beard, like maybe cut the hair but keep the beard. I can live with that as a Yankee fan. I don't Garrett think that's Cole in, in these pictures looks like uh, looks like your your English teacher, except like the one on the Astros is when he in the summertime when he doesn't have to go to work. You know. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's kind of. Right. I don't know if that right. joke is going to the other ones. Like the teacher working at the bar in the summer. Yeah, kind of yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. He's works as a lifeguard. I yeah, play acoustic what... guitar <laughs> down at the uh, marina, or whatever. I feel, you know, I feel like in the Astros picture, he looks like a redneck that would go to a Toby Keith concert. In the Yankees yes. pictures, he looks like a dude that would take a Tinder date to the Mariah Carey concert at Madison Square Garden. <laughs> <laughs> like just the bro that, that wants very to specific play. Right. He got a job on Wall Street, <laughs> you know. <laughs> He looks yeah. like the Yankees. He looks like the torpy guy from um, the Star Wars show of uh, fucking with the Road One guy. Um, he looks like a, he's a simpin for the Imperial. Never mind. I fucked that up. But anyway, that's what he he looks like. This asshole from Star Wars. All right. Here's one. I had to show you the headline first. <laughs> um, I remember I'm still this. trying to think of this guy's name. All right. I remember so, this. Um, his uh, uh, rough Neto door, we know, nosebleeder Hall of Famer from the Brilliant fight. Door, which baby, let's go. Do. His daughter was shocked when he shaved his facial hair. He had a great beard, you know. He Look had an epic one. Yeah, he, looks, he did. He he looks like he, yeah. he just reversed twenty years by shaving off the beard. Like this. How I was does about this to say that anymore? that person does not look old enough to drive. Yeah. Or serve in the military, or drink. Like n none of the above. No. Like that is yeah. a child. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is, you know, I wanted to take a winter job one year. You can be like an assistant on the UPS truck, making some side money for UPS, but they have a no facial hair policy. I'm like, why would I shave off my beard? It's part of my face. You don't ask me to cut my ears off. That was my mentality. So I'm kind of torn on this. Like there was a time when the Yankees could have got the Grom or Syndergaard when they had the long hair, and especially Syndergaard with the Thor thing. Like, you're going to make them – that was like his whole thing when he was in his prime. You know, oh, in the offseason, there's always talk, oh, the Yankees should go get Syndergaard and DeGrom from the Mets because the Mets stink, blah, blah, blah. But, like, that was his whole thing, Thor. Like, what if he came to the Yankees? He's not going to be Thor anymore. That was his whole selling point, you know? So well, I got mixed feelings about this. I don't think it should prevent people from coming to the Yankees. That That's I just why – like, I want sloppiness is what I don't want. But that's why people hate the Yankees so yeah. much. Like the, the the Yankees have always been like the Cobra Kai villains, like the clean cut jock '80s bullies of yeah. the MLB. <laughs> like they've always been, they've always been the corporate suits. And who, yeah. be, especially in this eat to eat the rich kind of era, yeah. who yeah. better to hate than the corporate suits? And the Yankees, right? yeah. And, so and, and especially in the '80s too, like the Yankees just always represented like, or actually even in the '60s, like throughout time, the Yankees always represented like big money, and then. Mm -hmm. The Mets always represented, you know, your dad who got you a Christmas gift when something fell off the back of the truck. Yeah. Like, that is who your dad was if it, you were a Mets fan. So, um, I mean, it was always blue collar versus white collar in this city. Um, so, that I, I don't know. I think that's something that uh, is just – it's nothing new, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. That is who yeah. the Yankees are through and through. Yeah. Let me let – me, let me that and push back a little on you, Mike. So I've worked a lot of jobs in my life. I used to work at Walt Disney World, um, and yeah. they, up until about I think eight years ago or nine years ago, um, they had a also a no facial hair policy. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a lot of jobs in, in, in that in in that have a no facial hair policy, and a lot of them mm -hmm. are, you know, corporate kind of gigs. That is kind of mm -hmm. how it goes. Right. Uh, and also, too. Look, New York City is different than pretty much anywhere else in the country in the sense mm -hmm. that people come here for what? They come here to make it. You know, yeah. you come here to make it. And, you know, if you, you come here to make it, you got to play the part. And part of playing the part is looking the part. 
Right. And so I, I actually don't mind the facial hair policy as much as people do. I think you let them have a little stubble, a little five o'clock shadow, whatever the case may be. Yeah. I'm cool with that. But I, I don't want things to get out of hand. There need to be some regulations. And that's, that's where I'm at. The yeah. Pictures that I uh, sent you. I want, yeah. I want you to put these up now. Okay. That, how would you feel if, uh, you know, somebody had a, a ginger Amish fucking unkempt beard like you know, Craig is this, this here. Is, that's, just here right that, just looks, that just looks so bad. It looks He's like butter. Yeah, it looks like a Halloween costume. Like it looks like a fake beard. He has no facial okay. hair. Looks like Yeah, like, there's no stash connecting to his actual beard, and it's just all on his chin. Oh, that's yeah. Like those fake beards you pull and they come off. No, they hook on it, with like little. Like, Hooks. <laughs> Somebody with, with a beard like that looks like he owns a Harley and says, "Hell yeah, brother!" Like unironically. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. like that. That. Is, so, do you really want that? Don on the pinstripes, Mike? No, I didn't no. say okay. that. Yeah, go, go to the next one. All right. All right. This is uh, Kashner from the uh, Padres. This is another guy that looks like he just got done uh, fucking, you know, banging teenagers at a truck stop or something. You know, oh like God. look at this fucking look at this thing. 19 you know, year old. I'm, okay, I'm hey, pretty sure. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that he, 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 he's lost food in that beard that's still in there from years ago. Like, look at that thing. <laughs> like, Family that Guy, the birds fly out. Yeah. yeah. No, that's. Yeah, it looks uh, like, um, he looks like he plays the guitar like Brian before we started the podcast. He's strumming along. Yeah, but but he looks like he only does covers yeah. of Leonard Skinner. Okay. Of Leonard, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, no. He, or he just goes to the bar and he just yells free bird in the, <laughs> the karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a young like, that's Santa. Not, yeah. That's the song we're playing right now. We're playing actually the talking heads, and he's like, free bird. And he just keeps screaming. He doesn't even know the words, he just screams. Mm. Reverb. Yeah, he, he looks, yeah, yeah, he's he a like, yeah. Con. Yeah. Yeah. He thinks PBR is a class. And then finally, <laughs> um, we're gonna get to this last. Yeah, here we go. This is Mike, the all time worst. You you want this Mike is... Fires? This is Mike Fires, formerly of the yeah. A's with the monkey tail. This is why you have to have rules. The cat tail? This is oh, why you course. have to have rules. You can't have anarchy. Yeah. yeah. And look, I, it, 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 see this. Yeah. That, Take it in, that, Brian. Take it in. It looks um, like the ad symbol, you know, like you like you're tagging somebody in an Instagram. Yeah, post. no, it, it, and that's the thing is that <laughs> it, what, what, what's what's that that uh, the kindergarten thing? It's like if we can't play nice, no one's gonna get to play with it at all. Right. It's because yeah. of this. It's because of stuff like this. This is um, why they A's moved to Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> this guy specifically because of this picture. Yes. I, um, I support I support this too. This looks like psychological warfare. It really, it, he, he's doing this, to, he's doing this to distract the batter. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. like if you look like a Picasso painting on acid, which is what he looks like right now, then, I mean, it's going to distract the batter. So I, this is actually amazing. I, I would require everyone to grow a stash exactly like this. Oh, so, so, so you'd be okay with the policy if specifically they, they had to be, it had to be this. It had to look like this, yes. <laughs> that would be yeah. my call. If you're going to do it, you have to go all the way. Right, yeah. See, the Yankees, we, we wish the Yankees would have went after Bryce Harper. And I feel like Bryce Harper is the guy that was a Yankee fan as a kid. He said he was, I believe, and he yeah. would shave his facial hair to come to the Yankees. So, like, that I respect. People like, yo, it's the Yankees. I'm going all, I'm shaving it, you know, stepping up. Like, that, I appreciate that. But I also know when guys, like, if you've ever shaved your facial hair off, you just feel dopey and you get a bad haircut. Like, you don't feel like you, you know? You just feel like a doofus. I don't want that affecting their play. So if a guy's got to have a little Johan, I always wanted to grow a thin Johan Santana line. I have tried to, uh, and it looked terrible. Do you have any but, photo <laughs> evidence of this? I, we have to put this on the show. It sounds fucking hilarious. I do, but it's not as thin as you. Th it was just a little round. I, I have pictures. Uh, I have a whole story. Oil. About I want to help you get there. Please take this picture down now. Okay. Um, this <laughs> so, so that th th that concludes our discussion of uh beards and the facial hair policy I i'm a little bit more for it than most people are i think a lot of people think it's outdated um i think they can start allowing a little bit more but again there have to be some rules kids there, yeah. ha there has to be i would say there have to be like a length restriction and a shape restriction there a symmetry restriction as we just saw right. hey, brian's like no 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 symmetry no symmetry. um no, all right that's all i have to say about that any, any, clo sure. any closing yeah. arguments uh uh mike no 
maybe a chick with a beard if she can hit home runs, I'll take it. You know, like, you know, it's anybody who can help the Yankees win Dude. at this point. It's you know, true. I don't the offense was bad last yeah. year. To be honest, I'm I'm willing to take anything at this point, so I don't care. All right.